G'day folks, how you going? Welcome back to my channel. Today's product review is going to be on the King's Jump Starter Battery Pack. Now let's face it, nothing kills a good camping trip quicker than having a flat battery uh, on your vehicle when you want to leave. Now when I went away, I used to carry one of these things and uh, this was great. Um, I personally never used it on my own vehicle, I've used it on a couple of other people's vehicles, uh, but this was great. It had a couple of charging points, uh, you could USB on the back as well, so you could carry this if you wanted to run a fridge or some accessories or something wherever you were sitting. Uh, downside to it was it, it is pretty expensive um, it's heavy and it's big so finding somewhere to store it was always a problem um, this thing died on me at the beginning of this year and uh, so I had to get rid of it get a new one and I decided to get the um, King's lithium battery jump kit thing uh, as I said it only cost me a hundred bucks so uh, I thought it was probably pretty, pretty good value because at the end of the day this has only got to save you once and it's paid for itself. You look out here, if you've got a flat battery, you could be sitting around a long time waiting for somebody to come and give you a jump start. So what do you get in the pouch? So first, it's a nice little carry pouch, so it's great, you can just chuck it in the back of the car and, and it's all protected. But inside here, you've got the battery, of course, which uh, you can also plug in a couple of uh, USBs in here as well, use that to charge your phones or whatever else, plus the light on the back as well. Um, you also get the uh, obviously the connectors to connect your car battery um, also get a 240 volt charger with a uh, micro C on it or USB C I think they call it um, you got that on there and you've also got the 12 volt charging cable as well uh, and with that a couple of um, uh, extra accessories where you can uh, plug in um, your, uh, your other t different types of devices if you need different types of plugs and things. So that's all that you get in it. Now to use it, you um, just plug this into the side here. It only goes in one way and then you will notice you notice on the front it flashes red and green now initially I thought that meant that um, it was a fault wasn't working properly but flashing red and green actually means it's ready to char jump start your vehicle um, there's a couple of other fire colors in if it's red it means there's something wrong you hooked it up wrong or something like that um, or the battery's not charged now um, there's four lights on the front to tell you how much power is in this box they say uh, don't jump start uh, on anything under at least two lights. Now I've actually jump started my cruise three times of this already and I haven't charged it. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put a, uh, a, a bad battery back on the cruise again and then we're going to see if this can char uh, jump start the cruise on a completely dead uh, battery and we'll see how it goes. So this is my cruise. Now, um, this is actually the beginning of uh, January 2022. Um, so that makes this uh, battery pack almost 12 months old and it hasn't had a charge since I first got it. So as I said before, I've jump started this already 
maybe three times. Um, so uh, we'll see if it can do it again. Now what I've done here, I've disconnected my car battery, my good one, and I've put this old car battery I got down here. It's, it's too small for this car anyway, and it's, you know, I don't know, five years old, so it's, it's pretty worn out. Um, but I, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to test and see if we can get this jump pack to actually start this car. So I'll just show you that this battery is flat by trying to start the car just on this setup now. Alright, so as we can see, that battery won't start, um, and that car won't start. So what we'll now do is um, set this up and um, then uh, see if it will start. Now this battery is on two, just under 12 and a half uh, without a load on. So what we do is we plug uh, this in first and then we get the uh, red and green lights. And I might just check because this has still got all four lights. So this is still well charged after a, after a year. Then we hook on our uh, terminals. All right, so that's now set ready to go. Let's see if it'll start. All right, there we go. False start to start with, and then it went. So this would get you out of out of out of trouble if you were uh, with a regular car. What I want to do now is try this same setup on the four-wheel drive of the V6 diesel. Now this battery is definitely too small for that car. So let's see if it works anyway. Okay, same setup here. I've attached that same battery down the bottom here and I've disconnected my negative terminal so that this battery isn't connected to the vehicle and we're only running off of that battery. <laughs> now, I don't think that battery would start this vehicle um, even when it was in good condition. Uh, this is a V6 uh, turbo diesel, so it needs a fair bit of grunt to actually get it to turn over. Uh, just looking at the, um, the battery pack, and uh, we can see that it is still all right it's dropped one light now so it's down to three um, so it's used a little bit of power so we'll see if this can still jump start this vehicle so i'll just see if this will start on that battery now well i would have i knew where the keys were So there you go, that definitely didn't start. So we'll plug this in and see what happens. So we got it in, it's flashing red and green, and now attach this to the uh, battery, and we'll see what happens. check well this is cut out so we'll just try that again right flashing red and green
how's that, eh? So initially, I still had the aircon running. So turn the accessories off and it makes it a lot easier. Definitely started it, so if you're out in the back camping somewhere and you uh, had a flat battery, 100 bucks, it's gonna get you out of trouble. Can't complain about that. All right, so as we can see, uh, definitely started a, uh, the standard car quite easily. Um, the uh, V6 diesel, it struggled, but it managed to get it started, and that's all that matters, because once you're running, you can drive out of here. Um, so definitely worth the 100 bucks. And you really got to ask your question, what's the difference between this and the more expensive ones? They basically look the same, just a different color. Um, so is it worth spending four or 500 bucks on one of the other model ones or just a hundred bucks on this like i said it's only got to save you once and it's paid for itself anyway so that's it for this video so uh, if you like what you saw hit the uh, thumbs up down the bottom there and if you want more of this stuff then hit the subscribe button and the uh, bell next to it that'll let you know when i've uploaded another video anyway till next time happy travels <laughs>